Hello everyone. In this poster, we describe results from a greenhouse evaluation of a small subset of wild Arrakis PIs for resistance to Athelia rolfsii. Because of the genetic diversity of cultivated peanut is low, highly diverse wild species, especially those in section Arrakis, are potentially important sources of resistance to abiotic and biotic stressors. Athelia rolfsii, also known as sclerotium rolfsii, is one of the most damaging soil-borne pathogens of peanut in the U.S. and other countries, causing the disease variously named white mold, stem rot, and southern blight. Despite considerable work on screening wild arrakis for resistance to other pathogens, relatively little work has been conducted for southern blight. Here, we evaluate 18 accessions representing 15 species within section arrakis. For reference, we included five hypogea entries, including the resistant Georgia 03L, CC650, and the susceptible Virginia NCV11, and the highly susceptible core entries CC38 and CC41. To get around the difficulty in germinating many of the wild arrakis, much less getting them to produce enough seed for replicated assays, we vegetatively propagated them from cuttings. For the hypogea reference entries, we used eight week old plants to be consistent with a previous study. Inoculations were made using actively growing mycelium on my PDA plugs, and the humidity in the greenhouse chamber was supplied by a couple ultrasonic foggers. Plants were arranged in a randomized complete block design with two blocks or plants per experiment, and the experiment was conducted 11 times. Lesion and mycelium length on the central stem were measured 4, 6, 10, and 12 days after inoculation. There were significant differences among all entries for lesion length and mycelial growth on all days except day 4. On day 12, the two Batizakoi accessions had the longest lesions and the resistant hypogea entry CC650, Georgia 03L, and Arrakis microsperma PI674407 had the smallest or the shortest lesions at less than 13 millimeters. While it is easier to measure mycelium than lesions because mycelium often obscures lesions, we won't be measuring mycelium in future studies of wild Arrakis. The correlation between lesion length and mycelial growth was significant, but it wasn't perfect. Arrakis monticola in particular supported lots of mycelial growth despite having relatively small lesions. In future experiments, additional measurements may be needed to more accurately reflect resistance and susceptibility across species. Judging solely on lesion length, the highly susceptible hypogea entries still appear less susceptible than many of the wild species, which were often taller. However, both Arrakis microsperma accessions appear to have some resistance to southern blight and have previously shown resistance to cylindrocralium black rot. The species also has an A genome, as does hypogea, further enhancing these accessions' potential for prebreeding. Thank you.